Hi there, it's Dave Altavilla for HotHardware.com, and this is the Dell Inspiron Duo. It is a 10-inch netbook tablet convertible device by Dell. It's based on an Intel Atom N550 dual-core processor at 1.5 gigahertz, the Intel NM10 Express chipset, 2 gig of DDR3 system memory, and a 320 gig 7200 RPM hard drive. Also on board the device is a 1.3 megapixel webcam, as well as 802.11 BGN wireless or Wi-Fi, and a multitude of other connectivity options that we'll step through next. But the real hook on this device is its 10.1 inch capacitive touch capable display with a native resolution of 1366 by 768 that also flips in the lid, like so. Tilt the lid down and you are now in tablet mode on the device. Let's step through the features and functionality of the Inspiron Duo next. Now the Inspiron Duo has a very minimalistic sort of design approach. Over here on the left edge of the device is a power jack as well as two concealed I.O. panels here and here. One with a headphone jack and another with a pair of USB 2.0 ports. Right there. Flip the device around and you've got a power button as well as power status indicator light and hard drive status indicator light. Other than that, that's it. There's nothing around the perimeter of the Inspiron Duo except for those I.O. ports and indicator lights and a power button. So flip the device over and you've got a docking station port. This allows you to dock the system up to an optional powered Dell docking station which we'll show you next. And underneath there's also a pair of speaker ports here and here. Pretty good sounding speakers by the way. And also we should note that unfortunately the battery is not user serviceable. It is a four cell battery capable of about four hours of active time on a charge, but it is not user serviceable. It's only factory serviceable and replaceable. And this is the optional powered docking station for the Dell Inspiron Duo that we spoke of earlier. JBL speakers up front here, docking connector here. Flip the device around and you've got a number of different I.O. ports. You've got a flash card reader, USB 2.0 ports, line out, and a gigabit ethernet jack. So that all provides a nice additional expansion off of the Inspiron Duo. We'll grab the system here and show you it just sits back in this cradle and you are connected to the dock. Let's fire up the dock, plug it in, and show you a little bit of the Dell Stage UI next. And here we are plugged into the Inspiron Duo docking station and it gives you the option of firing up Dell's Stage UI, the user interface that Dell created that works with Windows 7 Touch Pack. It's multimedia targeted and it has a number of different functions available, music, photo, video, ebooks, internet, paint, games, etc. Let's go ahead and fire up the music interface. You can see it's touch sensitive, so the capacitive touch screen at play here, fairly responsive. Let's go ahead and fire up some stock music in Windows 7. By the way, this is Windows 7 Home Premium that uh, comes with the Inspiron Duo. And uh, we'll go ahead and turn up the volume here. It's got a volume rocker on the side of the docking station. You can hear JBL speakers doing a pretty good job of pumping out the music. Perhaps a little bit more low end would have been nice, a little bit more bass response, but not bad for a system of this size and portability. Let's go ahead and fire up the Photo Stage app. And you can do a little bit of multitasking, look at some pictures while we listen to some music. As you can see, scrolling through here, pretty responsive, pulling up different photos. You can obviously set up a slideshow and all that good stuff with it. And of course, let's close that out. You can also browse the web, try and get Windows 7 to respond here. There we go. Fire up the internet browser. And as you can see, there's also, of course, Windows 7 touchpad keyboard in with the user interface as well. So this is a quick take look at Dell's Inspiron Duo notebook tablet convertible. I'm Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware. Stop by our site for the full review with benchmarks. And thanks again for stopping by.